ChatGPT is one of the most trending topics right now. It's been less than a week since its release and people's minds are being blown with what it can do. It's also breaking records with over 1 million users signed up in just 5 days, faster than Netflix, Twitter, Facebook, even Instagram. No longer will you be googling the answers to problems, ChatGPT gives breakdowns of them in fine detail with explanations exactly how it works. This will make people question just how relevant Google will be in the coming future. Do you want to know the limitations of TypeScript? ChatGPT has you covered. But what exactly is ChatGPT? What makes it so powerful? These are things I wanted to find out. It's built by the same people that are behind OpenAI, which are now shaping some really interesting technologies. They've been building powerful engines like Codex, which is the engine behind GitHub Copilot, something that many of us are already using in our day-to-day -day coding on VS Code. And if you're looking closely, you might see the beginnings of ChatGPT, where people put in prompts and they get outputs from an AI-generated system. Another example was DALI2, which was an image generator based on prompts you enter. Here you get different types of visualizations of a spaceman on a Course, and lots of other examples even extending out classical artwork. ChatGPT is therefore a way of prompting an AI to solve or answer a question or a prompt in a human-like manner, very different from anything else we've seen before. And this can sound scary, very scary, especially to organizations like Stack Overflow, which pride themselves on solving problems with human-related answers. They've actually gone as far as banning ChatGPT out from their systems. This is because they want to build a level of trust on there. And if people simply copy-paste answers from GPT without any references, that might break that level of trust. This is all quite interesting, but let me have a look at ChatGPT under the hood by actually using it and seeing just how useful it will become as part of our day-to-day -day lives in development as well as any industry. In case you didn't know, ChatGPT is entirely free. If you want to try it out yourself, simply go to OpenAI, log in with a brand new account, and then select the ChatGPT interface. I'm quite fond of the design. It's nice and simple, giving you the examples as well as some capabilities and limitations of ChatGPT. Some of these capabilities are quite powerful. Things like remembering what a user said in a conversation and providing follow-up corrections as well. The first thing I wanted to do is to see if it could tell me what Python or TypeScript is. And it gave me a pretty sound answer, saying that TypeScript is a programming language that's a superset of JavaScript. Since I haven't actually used TypeScript before, I decided to ask it if it could give me a hello world function. Not only did it write the function in such a manner that I could literally copy paste it out, but it also explained the function to me. And this is really just the beginning. And here is where things get interesting. I've been working on a small application and I was getting an error that I couldn't figure out. I decided to copy paste this error into ChatGPT to see what it would say. Here's some JavaScript in VS Code for a upload for a video app I'm working. This code is failing when I try to run it in Node.js. I copy pasted this straight into ChatGPT asking if it could fix the following code for me. What I received back was my code fixed. And not only that, ChatGPT went through and gave me the code to copy paste and even explain to me exactly what was wrong, why it was wrong and how it was fixed. In this example, I had written my return function incorrectly, basically making a bit of a typo. And here it's gone through and fixed that return, making sure that it's spelled correctly. It's also been a bit cheeky here, adding in a comment that it fixed the typo right here on the line where it says return. If I didn't know any better, this could have come from a real human. Even, for example, a mentor or a supervisor that could be checking and reviewing your code. And this makes me question exactly what things might look like in the future of development, because this could really be like a personal assistant of a sort. But ChatGPT has a lot of relevance, even outside of programming, since it's practical to pretty much anything. Here, I wanted to create a list of food I can eat that don't include carbs because I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. It gave me three dishes that I can have, grilled chicken, as well as shrimp, as well as some omelets. Taking this one step further, I asked if it could create a shopping list for me based on those meals. And yes, it did that very easily. Not only that, it indented them and made them nice and readable. I think that ChatGPT is here to stay. I think it'll be revolutionary. It'll become part of our day-to-day -day lives, similar to how Google has. And not only that, it's going to revolutionize so many industries once they take full advantage of it. That's just my opinion though. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit like on this video.